All right, everybody. Um, so yeah, last time we did play um, Winter Home here at uh, Frostpunk. So make sure to like and subscribe and go follow me at Rumble. And we lost. This is probably the hardest scenario in the entire game to follow Winter Home. So we're gonna be playing the last autumn on normal difficulty. And uh, last time I played this game, I picked um, workers. The first time I won this because the the, the motivation boost is really nice from the terror ability. But this time I'm gonna pick engineers. Cause it turns out uh picking engineers is better if you if you like in Frostpunk, if you find engineers are the most valuable resource in the entire game, then you should pick workers. Personal journal of Euphemia McLaughlin. Assistant engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally, we have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or, small price for progress, as I.E. Seed called it. I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter seems inevitable. And that was the intro of Personal Log of that Engineer. The last autumn, we crossed through the Northern Seas to reach Site 113. You know, I actually have a globe right next to me, a, a planet, and I figured out where I think Frostpunk takes place. It makes a lot of sense. I can't show it, but I think I know where it is. There's a perfect small island for it. And it would make sense to be there, because it can't be in Canada. Because of some of the geography. It's just, it's just that some of the geography, whatever it's called, makes sense for it to be in that island. I don't know where it's called, but it, it makes sense to be there. Alright, uh, the rough northern seas. That also means they're probably going north. That's what I'm thinking, because I know the northern seas are just the northern seas. It's the north area of the seas, but I think they're going north through the northern seas. We were to build the greatest marvel of technology, a generator. The crew lured by the promise of a steady job and eager to leave work riots and bread queues back behind at London, are somewhat taken aback at the sight of the desolate landscapes surrounding the site. They are told not to ask details for the job, so there's no turning back now. There's no concerns why this contract is such a high priority, considering the deteriorating situation of the Empire, but your superiors are clear this is the most important job of your life, for Queen and Country. Because we're British. Instantly pause the game. And build. Gathering post here. Gathering post there. Get all workers possible in any job that they can do. We need plenty of wood. Wood is... Some, every every resource in this game is very difficult to get. We're going to pass the law. Where is it? What, what law should we instantly sign? Radical treatment's nice. I'm saying gruel. Alright. As soon as I start doing some of these things, then I can build a house. There we go, get to work. We do need at least nine houses by the end of the day. Okay, first steps. Okay, and now we do have these places built. I mean, I'm going to take uh, ten workers off here. Maybe down to five. Put them on here. And the same over here, but instead it's going to be for the steel over here. Take ten workers off. Leave only five. And that takes care of everyone. 
So we need at least 90 houses by the end of the day. That's our goal. It'd be nice to get. I do severely doubt we'll be able to get that many houses. But it would be quite nice to get those houses. At least just half the amount of houses we need would be nice. But work time's almost over. So yeah, I think it's a bit too late. For everybody to get a house. Let's see how many people are going to get a house. I mean, if, we, if they do really step up here, they might... Everybody gets a house. First day. That's the first time that's happened. Actually, no, not everybody gets a house because I can't afford that final uh, house. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. Idle hands? Uh, let them be. If someone falls in, it's fine. I don't really care. I'm not gonna get a medical post the first day, I mean the engineers are gonna just sit down and do nothing all day. A pub a pub would be nice. Let's get the pub. Can't build it yet, but uh We will build the pub eventually. It'll help with the motivation. Uh, we're gonna skip through the night. And I do like Frostpunk because it's a steampunk setting, and steampunk is like futuristic technology but with past technology. Like these steam cores. The steam cores are futuristic technology that we don't even have right now. But with past technology. So these, these guys are using past technology to do futuristic things that not even we can do today. At least I don't know of us being able to do today. I mean, perhaps we can. Nobody's told me. Alright, we're gonna go build the workshop. I like building the workshop over here. Two of them. We do want it like this. Because we really want to manage the space near the generator wisely. Lots of things have to go there. Alright, steel depleted. I mean, we do have some more workers. Exactly 15. Do it like that. New law can be introduced. Good. We're gonna do bare knuckle bouts. Reduce discontent, but uh... Chance to harm some people. I really don't care about people getting harmed. The people's needs are not my concern. For I do not care. Also, they have no chance of getting sick. As long as they're in here, they physically cannot get sick. I mean, we do not need a single piece of coal and a single hospital until the temperatures fall. Meaning, as long as everybody's housed, nobody gets sick until we get them working on the generator. Then we're going to need a couple infirmaries. Motivation gone, yeah, reality check, Let's see what we can do. I think we sign comfortable quarters. No, we, we sign chapel into evening service. Chapel's a really nice one. Alright, this is useless now. I mean, we get all workers off it and destroy it. Let's go send some workers to get a little bit of coal. And then five workers will... Ah, you! Ah, allergies. Even though I didn't go outside today, my allergies are still acting up. It's just throughout the day. Maybe there's something that has dust in here, or maybe dog hair. Specifically German Shepherds. I'm quite allergic to those. Cookhouse would be nice. We are on day three now, meaning people are start getting, gonna start getting hungry. And a hungry worker is not a happy worker. And a not happy worker is not an efficient worker. Yeah, we can see people are starting to get hungry. We do the docks now, it's very useful. We're gonna build uh, two of them. Next research is going to be sawmill. Where is it? Here it is. Sawmill is very important, extremely important in fact. It's probably one of the only ways we can actually win the game. We do have a lot of people to be able to get on these. To be able to use them. Alright, we're gonna make gruel. Sorry, people. Wood here. Steel here. And there is nothing left around here. Yeah, someone was injured in a bare knuckle bout. Did forget how people can get injured in those. Meaning we do need an infirmary. 
It's not an infirmary, it's a hospital, whatever. But we do need that built before the person gets gravely on. We have to send them home or get them prosthetic limbs. I mean, I'm going to take one person off here and put them over here. I probably really do not care about these people. You can really see how little I care about these people. And so we do have a daily loss of a notable amount. Telegraph station, good. We can get more engineers. Now, surprisingly, I'm actually going to build it close to over here. To save as much wood as possible. Okay, new law. Chapel. As soon as we get... Oh, uh, we do actually have a sawmill now. Skeptics. Discontent will rise, but motivation will rise as well. I'm good at that, because we literally have no discontent. In fact, we still don't. I also do love how the bare knuckle bout counts as a duel, but nobody can die. That's one of my favorite things. Is that they fight... But I don't lose anything. Okay, the line's open. We're gonna ask for one steam core and as many engineers as they'll give us. Engineers are useful, because eventually we'll get convict labor, which is how we're building this generator. We're gonna build a perfect generator. Where is this most efficient? I feel like it's really efficient. In certain spots, but then certain spots it's not. I feel like here is really efficient. Yeah, because it does hit a lot. Oh, we don't have any wood. We need to wait for a little bit more. Why is this guy still not at the hospital over here? Patience. One. He waited till the shift is over and go get his injuries uh, cured. He's like, oh, I'll wait till the shift's over, mate. I'll wait till the shift's over. Anyway, since nobody's over here, I might as well get all five engineers working on the same patient over here. Because, I mean, they ain't working over here. Middle of the night. They're getting 24 hour shifts, basically. Alright, I feel like the next one's evening service. I mean, we still do have to build that chapel in the first place. Which, uh, we still need more wood for it. And then we also do need a forager, and quite quickly as well. Yeah, we do lose. I do not want to go below that, because then they work 30% less efficiently. I want the people to work 30% more efficiently. Since we have no food left, I can just get all the people out of there. The people still eat without anyone there. I'll ask for a few more workers, I think. Wait till I can get at least 10. Oh yeah, that, that one place is going to be coming soon. I mean, we do need one housing. Because it is, yeah, six engineers. Hurry up and get some wood, people. Chapel will be built... I mean, if we build it like this, we're missing one. So let's build it like this. It's a little bit, at least what I think, inefficient, maybe, because we're losing a space for a house there. But I think it's fine. The people are currently homeless, but this house should be built. Um, we're gonna confiscate the picture. It'll cause problems later. If we don't... Which, I really don't need problems right now. Get the people on this. Alright, yeah, that's all working well. We do get- we're getting the forager quarters soon. We got him. This is why we do need more workers, because we are going to send them going foraging. Which, I'm going to build the building over here, a bit farther away, as it does not need heating. Because remember correctly, it takes 10 people to do that. So we're going to build another house over here real quick. Yeah, there's another people are housed. And then on our telegraph station, we're going to ask for... Ten people and as many engineers as will give us. Come on. Fine. Oh wait. Minus two and then... Alright. There we go. No engine... No, uh... We do need this profile manufacturing. 
We can get this guy out of here and put him all over here. Oh, that's why we do have a ton of engineers now, so we can actually have all these places operational. We are going to do an evening service that costs a bit of food, but the motivational rise is worth it. Alright, now... How many workers does it cost again? Yeah, 15. That's a lot. Meaning I'm going to sacrifice... I mean, we don't really have that many workers. We only have 75. We are asking for 10 more workers from over here. We only have to take 5 off. I mean, in 20 hours, we're going to take 5 off gathering steel. But until we get those guys, we're fine. I mean, we do need this. We only have 3 days left, but it should be fine. Let's get an engineer on here making food. I'm sure he won't mind. Or he'll mind a lot and absolutely hate us. Either way, I don't care. There we go. Profile manufacturing. Here's where stuff started getting dangerous, man. Alright, uh, faster gathering is not really useful for us right now. We really want drawing boards. I mean, I'll leave the people here because there's really no point in taking them off. Alright, now, what do we sign now? We're going to sign radical treatment. People won't like it, but it's what we have to do. The generator must be built, and the city must survive. Now, if I remember correctly, we'll eventually unlock the ability to see what we need for the generator, but I don't remember actually how many it is. Let's do it now. I'm actually just going to take all 15 workers off here. We're going to get the replacement soon. Reindeer tracks, but we're actually going to go for the reindeer since I have the fish. We do need that built. I will just build a fishing place and do mostly fishing for the entire game. As the fish are just far more uh, useful than getting a shipment of this or that every once in a while. We do have some more people to replace them over here. And a few more engineers. Now this shipment's just going to be all workers. Alright. What's our economy look like? We're getting 120 coal get a we're getting 120 coal, coal a day. Yes, that's actually correct. We do have a lot of people in this huge coal pile. New law. Alright. Overcrowding. People will hate it, but it's needed. The city must survive and all that jazz. Hunting grounds. There we go. In 13 hours, we'll get there. Drawing boards unlocked. Fishing harbor. Hungry people is really not that bad. My other guy says shift's over, go grab a bite, but there's literally nothing to eat. I find that hilarious every single time he says it, and there's nothing to eat. Which is quite often around here. Reloading station's really useful. Yeah, someone is injured in a bare knuckle bout. You see, set up camp, which succeeds that. And we'll get a shipment of food in 10 hours. There we go, so now we can click this little button over here to see what we need. We need 8 of these, and then we need 10 and 10, and 25 and 50, and then... And total cost is what we need. Now, I'm not too good at math. I'll be the first to say that. I mean, if you knew me, you you would know I'm I'm not the greatest at math. I I honestly don't pay attention, and that's why I'm not good at it. If I actually paid attention and actually put forth the effort to do it, yeah, it'd be really easy. But do I do it? No. Math house is not the most useful. Honestly, I think we save the law for when we get the uh, ability to make shifts happen, which is very soon. All right, start building, guys. All right, 11 people are homeless. Need to get them housing. Preferably next in the range of this thing. Because it's in the range, and that's good. If it's not, and that's bad. We need eight of these. We have three right now. I go four. Safety concerns. All right, I will improve safety. Short shifts, right? 
Yeah, there we go. Short shifts. And then over here, short shifts. Short shifts might seem bad, but it's way better than having people fall down and get hurt. Suspicious minds intercept all his letters. I'm pretty sure that literally does nothing. I've never had anything bad nor good come out of it, so I really do not care. Faster gathering is not going to be useful. Because this gathering reloading station is basically just a gathering post. As soon as we can build it, we're going to build it on wood and on steel if possible. We do have food now, we should have got that done first time, but we do have enough food from the Forager. So we're actually going to go to the Forager, leave the camp, and head towards the small waterfall. Because we're trying to get, we're, we're going to steal some things from Winterhelm, alright? Just like we, uh, just like it's canon, we're going to steal some things from Winterhelm, I'm sure they don't mind. It's canon. So I have to do it. Trust me, I 100% want to. Alright, new book of laws. We are going to get, um, safety protocols. Me now, uh, we're gonna keep this on, the shorter shifts, it really is, okay? All right, now generator construction. We're going to go for machine shops, useful to have. And so is ventilation plants, but I feel that we need sawmill upgrade to make it twenty-five percent more efficient. We do have five people who are ill, mostly because of bare knuckle bouts, slightly because of this. The work level safety wasn't exactly one hundred percent safe there. So we do have a while to construct this. Just gonna build as many as I can here. It does cost us a lot of wood. Would love to get the upgrade that makes it cost less. Which is 75 wood and 25 steel. Honestly, we can save up for that. See how high, how high the wood's going? Because now we have these reloading stations, which are far more efficient. Also, I'm planning on getting two shifts instead of extended ones. I'm rarely gonna use it, because just playing it safe and making sure this is safe means the generator won't be set back at all. It just shut down for an extremely short period of time. Sermon. There we go. We're gonna after hours, um after hours um maintenance. I know people don't exactly like after hours maintenance. Having to maintain their tools, but it's less likely there's an accident, it means less likely for people to die, it means it's less likely for me to lose. And who likes losing? Not me, that's for sure. I'm going to turn back to normal shifts, as I feel like that's okay. Because it's going to be 100%. Each employee only didn't like only makes 5, so it's actually going to only be at 75%. Oh wow, well, people are actually absent for some periods of time. So I feel like we can work normally, have a few people get sick every now and then. Uh, we do have the ability to ask for some things. I'm going to ask for two steam cores. No, I'll just make this an order entirely steam cores. Upgraded docks, nice. But what I really wanted was over here. Cheaper and faster to make. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. That's not compromising materials at all. There we go. We have 100% amount of people here, meaning we can work normal shifts. I'm willing to only have operate at 75% of sufficiency. Efficiency, not sufficient. See, I don't think that's a word. We go here, then we go towards the abandoned coal mine, and that'll take us towards where Winter Home has their stuff that we're gonna steal from them. I'm sure they won't mind at all. I'm sure this happens to them every day. Now, extended shifts is nice, because we do get extended shift compensation. But we're gonna get two shifts. We're gonna use that a lot. To make sure things run 24 hours that we need to run 24 hours. For instance, this. Is going to run 24 hours. Listen, if it's the workers, then you want to run, run extended shifts. So if you're doing engineer's path, then you're going to run two shifts because you're going to have more convicts than you know what to do with. Oh, yeah, we can start building the uh, generator. 
We are going to put this on both of these to get it less dangerous, as we do not want it being too dangerous. Avalanche field. Event as soon as we see that it's abandoned, we can go there now. I'm not abandoned, but something's gone wrong or whatever. I'm going to get this so foragers move 50% faster. Not sure how they're doing that. I'm not even here to pick up the resources. What, did someone fall in? Bad omen. Let's wait because I'm literally not even doing construction right now. I'm getting, I'm going to get workers sent over before I start construction. Um, I'm going to censor the letter. Letter. Sure, his daughter is dying and whatnot, but I can't afford anyone to go home. I'd rather throw him into the generator foundation than have him go home. I know that makes me sound evil, but trust me, this is for the benefit of mankind. You people at home do want mankind to survive, right? No, ventilation plant's useful. 25 coal an hour, and it lower it increased safety. Because at workers decreases strike risk. But um, Vaughn, rusting rails. At workers decreases strike risk, but um, engineers decreases. Uh, sorry, increases work safety. Since we can order all these, yeah, there we go. We can order 17 people to come over. We are going to build a few more houses. There's a house here. There is a house here. We do want to start building this. We're 13 hours ahead of schedule only. I mean, I'm going to get all people off here and send them down here now. There you go. Closed tavern. It's a useful one to go to. It's a bit of food. We don't exactly need all the food, but it's just useful to have. Labor laws. I feel like everything here is fine. Let's go back to administration. I feel like a care house is going to be needed as eventually someone's going to get amputated. And the Gravely Oak will stay here instead of going straight to the medical post and flooding it with a bunch of people. Feel the nerve of those folks. The medical post should be reserved for engineers. Sheen shop. Uh, ventilation plant's really useful, but we don't need it exactly right now. I feel like we need an infirmary. That way we can make sure people don't get as amputated. I'll give them some proper meals. Yeah, let's go build them. Build some proper meals. Yes, we're gonna build up proper meals. We just have, um... We have to provide everybody standard rations. Which is quite easier than it seems. Alright, care house built. This thing's almost out of wood, actually, so we're going to build another one. The best place possible without destroying any resources. There we go. It's our only way to get wood as all infinite sources are gone. Good old times. He's leaving because of the bloody French people. Because he's British. Guess British people hate French people. I'm not sure why. But they have a good reason. I mean, from what I've heard, French people are extremely rude. Like, the rudest people you ever meet are the French. 3% progress. Fine. You guys are working standard shifts. No, let's get work standardization. They'll work more efficiently on shorter shifts. People are getting cold. I will provide shelter for everyone. This is great. There's only one person to provide shelter for. We are behind schedule. We do need to get that. Um, yeah. So we are going to have to work um, all the shifts. Double. 24-hour shifts. I mean, we do need 75 people in total to get 100% efficiency. Railroad tracks. That should get us Le, Le, Le Chev, whatever it is. Yes, we are nine hours behind schedule, but we'll we'll, we'll fix that with a little bit of 24-hour shifts. 
get anyone off where they're not, where they shouldn't be, and then put them all on. Actually, no, wait, uh, do not, do not destroy that. All right, here we go. We can now get infirmaries if we want, but I feel that sawmill extended range is better. Do we have any workers working somewhere we really don't need? I mean, no, not really. We barely have any workers as it is. Um, yeah, here we go. Pretty sure this is supposed to be a callback to some movie or whatever. I don't know what movie it is, though, so I can't tell you what it is, because I don't know what movie it is. It's a bit about snow and a train or whatever. I don't know. I just what I've heard from every single YouTuber who's ever played it. I don't know what movie it is. Right, let's go back to making gruel. And we've basically gotten every single law we need. Actually, we do need the burial stuff. That's later game. But later game, I mean as soon as people start dying. Which, if I'm going to be honest, is going to happen sooner or later. We're 12 hours behind schedule. This is not good. I think I can sacrifice some wood production in order to send some people down there. What else can we do? I mean, we have a lot of wood. We do not have enough steel. I'm fine with this working normal shifts just to send two extra people down here. We need as many workers as possible. How many are getting in the next shipment? 17 workers. We need two houses for them. Eventually, we'll just have convicts, which are a lot easier to maintain. Because workers have wants and needs, and... Apparently, people care about them. And they have, like, rights. But, you know, convicts don't have, like, any of those things. So, if we just get the convicts working, we should be fine. Toxic gases. Ah, that's a quite unfortunate. That does mean we're gonna get, need to get... We might have to work short shifts. Actually, yeah, if we work short shifts, it increases our efficiency by a ton. We're gonna get ventilation plants. This is actually working more efficiently now. I really hope we get. Yeah, we're going way, way ahead of the deadline now. You see them and take some food? No, we're not gonna rob these poor people. We tell the poor French that nobody's coming for them and they immediately start packing the food and set out. They're just sitting there eating their tin cans, being like, when are our friends coming for us? We're gonna send this man back because he's wanted. He's part of the murderer. Can't do the conductor's voice. It's always what I try to do whenever I try to say murderer. But uh, unfortunately, most of the time, it I just can't do it. How unfortunate! I really wish I could. Whoever did the acting for that deserves a raise. There we go. Seventeen percent more people. Now we have a hundred percent of the people needed here. Day sixteen. We have one more day to complete this. Ventilation plants, efficient fans, uses less coal. We're gonna have this work in short shifts. That's it, track to nowhere. I mean, we're gonna head back home with what resources we have. Not much, honestly. But it's something. We do have a lot of sick people because they were working in bad conditions. We we're going to have to build another medical post. Unless we want our people to start dying. Do you have anyone in here? No, nobody's gravely ill yet. Let's keep it that way. Gravely ill people are useless. Uh, uh, this is the best I can get it. Oh no. It's going to explode. Right? No, it didn't explode. That the noise meant it was gonna know that's just, just the gas meter. I know eventually it's going to explode. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Now it's not safe, 
So we're gonna have to go back to the small bit of percentages. I'm guessing we're gonna miss our first deadline. Yeah. 40% production, ugh, it hurts. I think we're gonna have to do 24 hour work shifts and ask for more people. We need every man, woman, and child on this. Although there's no children here, so I guess we can't get the children on it. We have enough steel for right now. We only need a few people on here. There we go. Now let's get some people from somewhere else who ain't doing much. No. Let's split the workforce over here. That's good. Alright, let's head towards over here, the nesting place, then the nature scalp, I think it's called. There, now we have um, people working here 24-7. It is... Ugh. Fine, short shifts. I can't take it. There's two high risk of people dying, and dying's not good, and... We are two days behind schedule. That's not good at all. We could get protective structures, though. That does increase work per work workplace safety by one, at least. I mean, they are working far more efficiently with these short shifts, but, um... We're... We missed our deadline. Shouldn't we have gotten a riot here yet? That's odd. I could have sworn we're supposed to get a riot. No, this can stay at... Five. Then we take... That many people from there and shove them in here. Let me take a few people from here. No, we already, we already barely have anyone there. No, a few people from here. Send them down here. And a few people from... No, again, I don't want to take people from here. I want to take them from here. Work strike. Yes, this is exactly what we wanted. Appease them with extra rations. Ah... Uh, Better working conditions, they didn't say for how long. Engineers, leaning on the engineers. We're gonna get the people working here and it's going to get it. There we go. Safety first. Isn't this safer? What does it need to be at? I don't know actually. I might have promised the wrong thing. Normally they take the extra rations. But yeah, we're definitely gonna fail this. Uh, it's literally day 16 right now. We only get two chances, meaning the next time we fail a deadline, that's it. We're finito. We're done. We're dead. We're gone. That's all, folks. Tune in next time. Now this is going to, if we have enough people here, it's gonna increase the safety. Meaning I care more about the safety than curing those injured people. If anything, I ought to be sending those injured people and those injured folks back home. Bald Hill. Apparently this hill's bald. Didn't we fa fail? Oh no, it's at 15 o'clock. So we failed. Um, that's safe. Uh, is this safe enough now? It's pretty safe, man. Nothing else. Fine. 24 hours. We really need, um... Upgraded docks. Let's get another dock out. Resources. Basic dock. We are very, very low on everything. I just realized we have a ton of workforce. They ain't gonna do anything at the generator. So might as well go send them to anywhere else that we can. Because I really see no point in not. Bald Hill. Lost crates. Here we go. You can steal some crates from Winter Home. I'm certain they won't need it. I mean, I know they will, but... I don't bloody care. I'm sure they're fine. I mean, I know they're not, because they're, they're going to die. Effectively, we did kill someone, but... I'm planning on sacrificing as many lives as needed to save 800 lives. Which does mean I will sacrifice more lives than need be. I don't get it. How do we get this to save? 
We've gotten safe shifts, we've gotten everything we could. Oh, we can get factory inspectors, actually. Our new, uh, one of our laws is like inspecting the factories. We do need another hospital. There we go, take the crates, they're ours. See ya, uh, Winter Home. Actually, it's not Winter Home, this is a different site. It's not Winter Home. We need a lot more coal. This one's gonna be a 24 hour shift. Then we get claws with nights. So we kind of wish that two shifts existed in the original game. Because being able to do something 24 hours would be absolutely amazing. Shouldn't this be lowering? This still, is this? There. Is that safe enough for you people? Upgraded docks. We're going to build an upgraded dock here and get some coal off of that, I think. Alright, now we're going to head down to... Over here, the three graves, and start going to the storehouse, I think. I think I don't actually know, though. You don't have any workers left? No, we did not. We've employed all of them. Bonus. Keep it for the engineers. Yeah, the workers wouldn't appreciate it anyways. There, now I can throw people down here. It's as safe as safe can be. I mean, I'm gonna take the people off here, and take them off here, and throw them down in the pit. They ought to be happy and happy now. We're getting some more engineers soon, meaning soon enough we will be able to make it a bit safer for these people. When there's nobody here, might as well throw them all down here. Work harder. Bloody hell, they're done working. Fine, 24 hour shifts. It's still safe enough, yay. What do you mean the docks await my order? They ain't built yet. Bloody hell, you idiots. You, you lied to me. There we go, more people. There we go, more engineers. Let's get some housing. And there we go. Overseers will increase motivation, but increase strike risk. Also increases efficiency. We can eventually, we can eventually get factory inspection and whatnot, which is real good. Now, and now we want convicts working everywhere. So basically, we want them everywhere. As it turns out, when you want someone working everywhere who needs to constantly be watched, you need constant places to watch everybody from everywhere. All at once. I do want a max amount of people on here, because it does make everything safe. We also need two of these mans. So I'll take those two people off here and put them here. It does increase strikers, but also increases motivation. It's worth it. We'll do it over here. Because increase the motivation by quite a lot. As you can see down here. Daily loss is, con daily loss is concerning. But that's not my concern. About how concerning daily loss is. Do you need a few people over here? We're three days behind schedule, but we'll be done by next Thursday. Probably. Oh yeah, we do need to start working on these. That's true, that's true. I'm saying we get this back to... No, we, we do need 24-hour shifts, because I'm actually going to have to turn this to normal shifts. Because you're going to gather... Yeah. Um, where can we get some people? Honestly, we need more workers, but we also need more engineers. But I feel like we need more workers now. Send them. I mean, I feel like we take some people off here. Maybe at least five. Throw them into the machine shop. And start building some of these, but we don't have enough steel. 
What the bloody hells were using all the steel for? We do need to upgrade the ability to make sure that's more efficient eventually. Uh, we're going to explain the misunderstanding. You know, I, I speak French. Actually, I don't. But I'm pretty sure he says, gentlemen, gentlemen. Here are the steam cores you required. Alright, there we go. We finished it. We are behind on building the foundations, but I'm sure it'll be fine. As we already have 10 steam exchangers, because we bloody stole them. Now, this is high strike risk. We do it to get it lower. Abandoned site. It is a little annoying. The discontent's high. But motivation's pretty high as well. Also, turns out they don't like overseeing you staring at them while they work. Also, the more dangerous this place is, the more likely they are to uh, go on strike. But I doubt they'll go on strike. Everything should be fine, people. Everything's working out as planned. More or less. Preferably more, but unfortunately less. This might be a multi-episode thing, because it almost went- What was that? Did someone die? That's how much the daily loss is? Good. That's how much the daily loss was. Oh no, it's because of the, we don't, because that, that, that raises motivation for a certain amount of time. But it also raises strike risk. So that was not daily loss, that was just that ending. Oh my goodness. For a second there, I was extremely worried that we were going to literally die. Let's get efficient gathering. I'm not sure how I have to research how to efficiently gather. Alright, we're going to produce safety equipment. Increases safety by one here. I do want it to be safe here, that way in case the ac when the accident does happen. I mean, we're only 12 hours behind, uh, bloody hells. You want to go on a strike, don't ya? Why do you want to go on a bloody strike? Taste of home? Give the man his parcel. I don't need it. It's always something with his people. It's like, oh, we're not being treated humanely. Oh, we want more food. Oh, I don't want to work in dangerous work environments where my head could get chopped off. Well, 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 I hear whining from these guys. They should be working, not whining. I mean, come on. Let's negotiate. What do you want? There you go. Everybody gets a day off. What do you you guys suck. I hate you. More engineers, please. I love that discontent to fall to the ground and not exist anymore, but unfortunately it refuses. Alright, we could get security outposts. We could also get internal promotion. We're gonna get security outposts. I'm sure everybody loves being watched even closer than before. You know they were they were they were complaining about how close they were being watched. They didn't like it. So I decided it'd be a brilliant, a bloody brilliant idea to watch them even bloody closer. Give these guys like some giant magnifying glasses and lights to shine at them, knowing that they're watching you. No drinking on the job. You're not allowed to drink at the pub. I'll have to say, I do love Frostpunk. This is probably one of my favorite games of all time. Not exactly my favorite, but it's one of my favorite games. And my favorite game of all time has to be The Pale Beyond. I need to really give these things a proper review. Like an actual video to review them. But that's for a bit later when I work out the script of what I need to say exactly. Like the points I'm trying to make to the people, because 
If I really like the game, I want to make sure people buy it. But I also want to make sure they know what they're getting themselves into. Oh, no problem. No motivation, blah, blah, blah. Overseer got beat up. He got sacked. Sir, workers seized an overseer who was admonishing them for smoking on the job. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with smoking on the job. It motivates them. Let them smoke on the job. Alright, uh, I can't carry out these duties if I'm not sure of your support. On good riddance, a worker shouts. We don't need slave drivers. Don't worry, I'll be slave driver later. We're gonna let it slate. A light bit of motivation falling. That's pain. I mean, I know the engineers are gonna bloody hate me for it, but I don't really bloody care what they think of me. Because I'm their boss, they should listen to me. They don't get to suggest me ideas. I tell them what to bloody do, and if they don't do it, I murder them. I mean, <clears throat> I peacefully negotiate a term with them that does not involve throwing them in jail, murdering them, or forcing them to work for the rest of their life and possibly killing them. That's what I meant to say. I'm sure everybody 100% understands what I was trying to say. All you folks back home, don't worry. I said don't worry, you better not be worrying. Or else. Nothing will happen. Maybe. You better like and subscribe and go follow me on Rumble. We are, um, how many days behind Dejual? Dejual? It's schedule. Do I have my cup of tea? No, I don't have a cup of tea. I'm gonna go get my cup of tea. And pause the game. And, uh, let, let leave you staring at absolutely nothing. I mean, how many times do people get working again? They start working at... Ah, oh, they start working soon. Y'all, they'll leave a pause to go get me, me a drink. We'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm sure that was a very, very interesting couple of seconds or minutes looking at absolutely nothing, which I'm not gonna cut out. Just to prove to you guys that I don't really cut anything out. In fact, I don't cut things out. Okay, this is about to uh, get into an incident. Don't have enough structural profiles to do it either. A little unfortunate. We're gonna set back, um, everything. But we can send rescue of safety equipment. They are, they're on strike. Piece of extra rations. Didn't work. I promised to open a bathhouse. This... And this. Sir, an overseer got in an argument with a worker, during which the worker slapped him, and the overseer demands punishment for the, the to the worker. It's not about the injury, which is mostly to my pride, says the engineer. This is about my authority as an overseer. Without it, we can't serve the company. The worker is unrepentant. Treat others with respect or you'll get your ugly mug smashed. 
Let's punish the bloody worker. Yeah, no, no, no justice in London, no justice here. What, what the bloody hells did you expect? You expect there to be justice here when there's no justice in London? You're bloody mad. Now, unfortunately, they're not going to start really working again until... Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of workers were hurt. Which, is not, it's not good. Now, what we do need is more engineers. We're not really researching anything of importance. Let's get some engineers off here. And get them cured just so that little bit faster. You're waiting at nature's skull? No, field kitchen. Yeah, site 107. Let's see what happened here. Let's see. Uh, we're about a day behind schedule only. That's not that bad. Stolen chemicals. Flammable solvent was stolen. Obviously, he's going to look for the, over the workers' quarters. It's actually an engineer who has it. Yeah, you have, a, you have my permission, but I'm pretty sure... I actually don't remember who stole it. Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't remember. I know someone stole it, but I don't know who. There you go, steam reloading station. I'm not sure why you need a station to properly reload this shite. But, um, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Oh my god, I mean, I don't know what they're doing, and I don't care. About a day behind schedule. That's really it, though. We do have to pass a law. Demons drink. Uh, yeah, people want to ban, um, ban alcohol. I mean, in the Bible, it does not say that you should not drink alcohol. It says don't get drunk. As long as they're not getting drunk, they're fine. Hey, let's have Adam, lads. Let's beat the crap out of them. Hi, Strike Chris. I mean, there's nobody here. There's nobody here. Alright, yeah, so this is the girl from the uh, beginning intro. We are going to take them to our camp. There we go, now everybody's in the hospital. Yes, now, now the engineers are getting a little bit more uh, crazy. We're going to get Penal Colony very soon, which is where you send workers to go work for the rest of their lives. And by that, I mean you send criminals to do it. Which I honestly think we should do in real life. Why should we give criminals a free place to stay here in America? And free food? We should have them working. I'm not sure where. But I don't know, we'll get them to work in the coal mines or something. We'll get them to build our houses. Actually, probably not. Maybe they'll do a bad job on purpose just to get us killed. I'm not sure. We'll get them to work on the farms. Ask farmers to teach them how to work. Then when it's time for them to stop working and go to bed, then you take them and you throw them in prison. Our people found the bottle of uh, benzol hidden in a worker's quarters. We arrested the suspect. Kill him. We confess to who's plotting the assault on an overseer. We'll build a prison. Kill them. I lo I I'd love to do this. We're going to build a prison. Uh, I'm sorry, but arsony is very illegal, and so is murder. Uh, but don't quote me on that, because I'm not sure if that's correct. I'm, and murder might be illegal. Right now it's dangerous. There you go, unhealthy. Back to work, all of you. Let's go send a few more people down here. We do need this done very soon. Finally, more engineers. Alright. Get the people cured. Alright, now you can go... Can we... Is there cargo over here? No, still not yet. We're gonna go towards the lake full of fish. 
We are two days behind schedule because of all this nonsense that's been going on. A little unfortunate, but uh, nothing I can really do about it. Oh yeah, we do have uh, pressure valves to build as well. Remember, safety first. If you're an idiot, well, you're going to be a bloody dead idiot. Now, let me look at the uh, next one we need. Do we ever need those again? We do not need any more of these. Except for the final upgrades. Which will mass produce them then. So we can just build a few of these. I mean, we can do steam exchangers with them. But what we really need is the foundry. There's a high chance of strikes. But I don't bloody care. We're going to build a prison. And we're going to bloody throw you in the prison. Penal colony. There we go. We're also going to get strike busting. We're going to beat these people until they bloody stop striking. We're going to lease convicts. They're less prone to striking. They're also more prone to murderous rioting. But I don't bloody care. I mean, it's, it's free labor. I mean... Who, who cares? Sure, there's a light chance they murder ya. But there's a light chance that everybody murders ya. One day, Steve's acting normal. The next day, it turns out he was a bloody psychopath. And was planning to kill literally everybody in the building. Until you remember that you don't even know why Steve's there. He doesn't even work here. Then you remember he got fired because they raised minimum wage and then turns out they couldn't pay their all their employees the same amounts. Or are you about to go on strike? Work safety. You got dangerous work safety. That should be good enough for you. That should be bloody good enough. Fucking my day. We didn't have work safety. Oh. Just going down, that's good, that's good. Off the gloves. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna pass strike busting. No more will the people strike. Or else we're gonna bloody beat them up. We got guns. Let's bloody beat them up. Let's do it. Knock them out. Still two days behind schedule. Oh yeah, this is on strike. Ah, we need 50 food for that. We don't have that. Um, off them the day off. Okay, they took. They reject the offer. Comfortable quarters. Maybe this wasn't a good idea to make sure I signed all these laws at once. We're gonna set up a camp here and send some food back, as I do realize we do need a few more pieces of food, as we don't have it. I can't do that. I can't even perform a sermon. I want to build a penal colony. I have to do that. I mean, come on. I'm going to turn off this because I really don't care. Let's get uh, superchargers. We can spend five to increase the progress by 10%. It's not it's close at this time of day. Because I do want it to be a little bit safe, but I'm feeling that people can work normal shifts, really. No, no, no they don't. They don't really need to work normal shifts. Alright, Penal Colony, finally. It does need to be in range of one of these. I mean, I'm going to build it right next to the hospital. Who wouldn't love to just think, in the middle of the night you're at the hospital, you hear a noise, and you're like, oh man, what if a prisoner broke loose? I mean, no, that, that, that wouldn't happen, and then you wake up dead. But it, it turns out you just didn't wake up at all, you're, you're just dead. There you go. Penal colony built. Let's get the prisoners here. We can order 56 of them. How many can we hold here? 25. We're gonna need to build another penal colony. Alright. Three of them, we can order all of those convicts. And none of the workers need to work here. And can be all convicts. Because convicts don't get opinions. Or feelings. Or anything. Actually. 
Six food rations. Triple food rations. It didn't cost me anything. Ah, uh, I'm not good at math, but 25, 50, 75. Let's actually lower this by a little until we get at least uh, one engineer. There we go. Zero tolerance. Sorry, an overseer. Local look workers love nothing but to stir trouble. We could rest the most rebellious ones from slacking off of minor threats. <laughs> Theft. To work more and eat less and think how it will motivate the rest to behave. Deal? I'm not ready to cross that line. We have basically no motivation. Blood's bloody fine. Turns out we never had motivation in the first place. People don't need to be motivated to work. They need to think they're gonna bloody die if they don't. Where's only f what, where did I get five convicts from? Oh yeah, I arrested five people, that's right. I forgot that. I arrested some people. Let's get class segregation. I mean, come on, just... The workers deserve a bit better, don't they? I mean, not the workers. The engineers deserve a bit better because they're better than you. As soon as we get that shipment of convicts, though, I don't bloody care what happens to the workers. I'm just going to unemploy them all. Let them stay at home. All 161 of them are kind of useless to me at that point. But speaking of how we have those, any place that the convicts can't work, we'll have uh, workers working. And honestly, the engineers do a better job at everything than the workers do. You just need four of these, really. Oh, bloody hell, we're out of coal here. We're going to have to build a car charcoal kin. And this is about to blow up, I think. Oh, that's right, I forgot to sign strike bust in. We are three days behind the schedule, I'm going to have to. Let's get 24 7 shifts. Who cares about this bloody safety? Yeah, high discontent does equal high amount of strikes. Ah, bloody hell, they striked. Piece of extra rations. It worked this time. <laughs> okay, as soon as those convicts get here, I'm getting all workers off. Alright, they're bloody here already. The engineer said never reached the port. He managed to overpower the escort and escaped in a boat. Please believe he was in. This is a minimum of guilt. Keep searching him. For him, we are grateful of your cooperation. Why? Well, thank you. I know. I know. I'm, I'm the. I'm, I'm. I'm the best. You should give me a medal for this. A bloody medal. I deserve it. A medal. There we go. Transport arrived. And they're gonna wanna beat up them. Yeah, that's the bet. I'm fine if a few convicts get injured. I really don't care again. I don't know how many times I have to say this. I don't care. Comfortable quarters. Returns you a comfortable quarters. There we go. Uh, this thing's actually not even close to being out of anything. Ah, uh, we failed. We've been fired. Alright, well, we'll have to try this again. I forgot about the whole deadline thing the first time, and I ended up messing up because it took too long. You've been fired. I, was, I really thought I was going to win. I totally, totally forgot about that. I did my best. You've been warned about the consequences that you failed another milestone. You've been fired and sent home on the first outboard ship. Blaypin's already on the way. Let's hope this one is a titan of in industries. It'll take one to finish the generator on time. Not really. If I just did things right and really focused on getting that discontent down a bit, I would have been better. We lost two times in a row. Wow. Both fall of winter home and last autumn. I, I've already won last autumn. I guess the workers' path was just far easier. Because it turns out workers are far cheaper than engineers. And having to be able to hire them and put them in places. 
and luring discontent, yeah. Anyways, this is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Maybe I should just done extended shifts. Yeah, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, did not do a good job. Make sure to like and subscribe and go follow me on Rumble. And that'll do it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. I mean, I said that three times now. My computer's actually a bit hot right now. Just feeling this area around my computer. It's a little hot. Might need to uh, turn it off soon. Ah, it actually burns lightly. It's probably not good. Anyways, um, I am planning on once I finish Frostpunk, I'm gonna finish off playing like all the scenarios. Then I'll finish Hot in Time. Then I'll finish Rebel Link. I'll finish all the things I'm doing. All right, I want to do that. That way I can finally do one of the projects I've been wanting to do for a little while. Unless you guys really don't want to see Rebel Link. I'm fine with that. I might just end that, Rebel Link. Uh, and just start that new series. But at the same time, I want to finish the series I'm going on with. But at the same time, I don't. I really want to finish a hot in time, but I really don't want it to be over. I also have no clue what to do in that DLC of the Net Metro. I'm watching a Zebra Gaming video about that, so I'm sure I'll figure it out. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.